election, security agencies tell INEC uh, warning of imminent trouble of poll if poll goes ahead as planned. And INEC still uncertain on the state of the due election following the security reports to postpone the polls. A nightmare for the commission which is approaching the eve of the much anticipated election. That's our focus on the program tonight. Channel television, we're reaching you from Benin City, the capital of Edo State, where we are monitoring the Edo election, which of course a lot of controversy on Saturday until if you may call it. That's what is happening right now. The Electoral Commission is not certain about where it should go because security agencies have come out to say postpone the exercise. Looks so much like deja vu, isn't it? But we have seen in 2015 election playing out all over again. But before we get deep into the issues uh, trailing the Ado election and some of the updates of the issues, let's give you some of the top political stories we're following right here, right now. Let's go right up on Channel's television. Here yeah, are your top political stories this time. The National Council of State meeting presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari has held in the council chambers of the presidential villa. Chief NS Shonekon, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, five past justices of the Federation, and some state governors attended the meeting. Part of President Mohamed Buhari's brief to the council is the nomination of Ibrahim Idris as acting inspector general of police, which the Nigerian Police Council is expected to ratify thereafter. The Kwara State Government has pledged its support to assisting local council areas in the payment of salaries. This, the government believes, will put an end to the incessant protest by local government workers over the non-payment of their emolument. As an interactive session with local government chairmen and leaders of the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, at the government house in Ilorin, the state capital, Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed urged the leaders not to allow themselves to be used by politicians to disrupt the smooth running of the state while demanding for their entitlement. The governor says each local government chairman in need of assistance has been directed to review the council's financial cases and approach the state commission for finance for help when necessary. If there are shortfalls in local government allocations, they can meet the Commissioner for Finance individually, depending on their cases. The Delta State Governor, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, has called on political office holders to adjust to economic realities of the country and ensure that the common interest of improving the current state of the nation is given priority. Governor Okoa was speaking during the appointment of the immediate past chairman of the People's Democratic Party in the state, Edwin Uzo, and his deputy, Emmanuel Igomeda, as special advisors in Asaba. The governor said, with the current economic situation of the country, where the masses are in pain, political office holders should also adjust their style of living, as it is no longer business as usual. He congratulated the two new appointees and charged them to look beyond party affairs in carrying out their duties. We cannot afford to be bad when the country is in recession. And you're up to date. Those are your top political stories. Right here in Edo State, the call for the postponement of the election. Today is the 7th, and you know that the day for the election in Edo here is the 10th of September 2016. Of course, when you hear this kind of information coming from security agencies about an electoral process, the commission needs to meet with stakeholders. And what they have been doing today, just a few minutes ago, the INEC chairman was meeting with stakeholders, politicians, on what exactly the commission we do based on the call for the security agencies. But right now, let me just give you an understanding what the security agencies said earlier today about the election. Take a listen. It will back your mind about what exactly will go down in the coming days in Edo State. Let, take a listen to the police chief now. Why election is important, the security agencies cannot allow the peace of the country to be disrupted and will continue to remain vigilant 
and ensure consolidation of the sources gain in the current counterinsurgency fight. It is in it is in regard of this that we are appealing to INEC, which has a legal duty, which has a legal duty, I want to emphasize that, to regulate elections in the country, to consider the need for possible postponement of the date of the election in Edo State in order to enable security agencies to deal decisively with the envisaged terrorist threats. Well, you heard him there talking about the advice to the INEC uh, authorities about the election. It's not looking good right now. Postpone the election, that's the call. But what is INEC saying? What are they saying in response to this uh, call by the security agencies? Of course, uh, when we're speaking with INEC, they told us that they are consulting to know exactly the way to go in this exercise. Earlier, INEC was meeting with stakeholders, politicians, civil society organization about the state of the exercise uh, if we may now let's uh, quickly give you an understanding for what the INEC chairman professor Mahmoud Yakubu said about uh, the decision of the commission whether or not they will uh, yield to what the security agencies are saying or they will go ahead because he told us earlier that they've not been officially communicated with based on what the security agencies are advising let's listen now to the INEC chairman All right, uh, we'll bring you that uh, sound bite from the INEC chairman uh, in, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a matter of minutes. But let me quickly bring that uh, to you, uh, for you now, uh, my guest uh, here uh, in Benin City that will be talking to us on the state of, if you may call it, um, uncertainty and confusion that is trailing the Edo governorship election. He is a co convener of the election situation room and uh, ED of uh, PLAC. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Clement Uwako, for joining us uh, on politics today uh, and I know INEC has made its deployment security agencies have made their deployment and also civil society and election observers and monitors they're on the ground have made their deployment how does this news come to you right now I think it's very distressing for Nigeria uh, international observers Nigerian observers are all here this is a very important election it's seen as a prelude to preparations for 2019 uh, in against the background that you have an electoral commission that is unpopulated by more than half of its members at the national level and more than two-thirds at the state level. It is a very distressing situation. Uh, we do know that the Constitution of Nigeria precludes anybody, anybody, any authority, including the president, from giving directive to INEC, from controlling INEC. INEC is an independent body, and we in civil society have fought so very hard to push to the point that INEC has gained the sort of independence that it has gained now. And we saw what happened with elections in 2015, and we saw that it was the independence of INEC and determination of civil society that led to the first time in Nigeria's history of a government in power being voted out by the people. It was that effectiveness of civil society in promoting the independence of INEC that led to this. We are very shocked by this interference. It is déjà vu, like you mentioned, going back to February uh, 2015. Yeah, when déjà vu, shocked. Those are the expressions there. But Mr. Nwanko, I will tell. We will take a pause now because we need to go on a short break. Shocked, déjà vu. Those are the expressions from civil society on the ground. Well, when we return more into these insights on what could be the cost of the postponement call from security agencies, that's after break, the break. Join us again.